Officials of the Public Hospitals Authority responding to the demonstrations that took place earlier this week by members of the Bahamas Doctors Union and the Consultant Physicians Staff Association saying that they have honored all negotiated benefits and existing industrial agreements made with the unions and they've even sought feedback for four months with no response. Public Hospitals Authority Managing Director Catherine Weish added that they are doing the best they can with the budget set before them. Uh, we concur with the physicians, with the position pro-offered pro by both the physicians and nurses, that the present state of our physical plant is wanting. It is simply not sustainable to continue to expand salaries and benefits while neglecting our responsibilities to modernize and repair our healthcare facilities. Acquiescence to a position that does not reference the already burdened monetary position of the PHA will in no way further the beneficial state of health care in the Bahamas. We should explain at a press conference earlier this afternoon that although new equipment has been installed and significant upgrades, like some ongoing renovations taking place at the hospital, the PHA still faces fiscal challenges. At present, our approved funding from the government of $216 million and our projected collection from patient revenue of $13 million still, re still results in a $25 million shortfall of our projected operating costs for the current fiscal year of $254 million. Presently, Personal emoluments, which include salaries and related benefits, account for $169 million of our actual expenditure. Put more simply, 80 cents of every dollar allocated to the PHA is consigned to the payment of salaries and benefits for physicians, nurses, and other supports.